God wants us to do is to bear fruits that are needed. Uh, many times, many of us outside, people are looking at us as people who have things that are needed. But inside, there's no fruit. Because the fruits that the Bible talks about does not start outside. What is expected in you, your character, is talking about the character. Our character are the fruits that depict us. We are showing people who are we by the way we live. And therefore, when the blessings follow, everybody will understand. Do you know the reason why people are not praising our God? Is because the fruits we are bearing are not, you know, showing that our God is there. If we can be cut down or taken away, it means we are disconnected with the one who makes us to bear fruits. Everybody can be a millionaire, but your lifestyle matters. Tell your neighbor, everybody can be a millionaire, but your lifestyle matters. I want us to go back and check ourselves inside. There's something that I was learning out of myself. I said, what is it that I'm supposed to do? Because, you know, we are living in a time whereby people think that when they've got big cars, they're anointed. Sometimes when you have got money, you feel like you are very much anointed than those who don't have cars. And I found that we need to teach them the truth. Because Jesus says, remain in me so that you'll be able to bear fruits. This is the time that we forget the issue of what is it that you are having? How many members are you having? What kind of your business is moving? If now we on the outside, we forget inside, we can end up losing what is inside, which is our life. I don't know if you're hearing that. Every branch is you. You're a branch. So look at your branch. Listen to this. One day Jesus was moving out when he was, was moving out of Jerusalem and going inside, one day he saw a fig which was like green leaves. But when he went there, he didn't find fruit. Because many things that we are seeing are things that are like leaves. Leaves, when wind comes, they fall. Sometimes they dry it up. You know, the, Jesus, when he reaches there, he was concerned. Why? There's too much green, but there's no fruit. You know, that's where Jesus can just cut you down. Because the words he spoke there makes that tree to dry it up same time. There are some things that, you know, when you are heavy, you are like having leaves. You know, you are just waiting for the wind that is powerful to blow everything away. When we look at you, we don't want to find fruit. Listen to this. A fruit and a leaf, where it's attached. A, a, a leaf is not part of a fruit. But can you see a figure or a size of where the leaves and where the fruit attached to the branch? If now you are giving birth to leaves, there will be a time where you will lose all. But if you are giving birth to a fruit, there's a time where people will gather around you. I don't know if you're hearing me. I can see people gathering around you. Can you just tell your neighbor, say, my friend, are you bearing fruits? Because this is the time where we can forget about what we are getting. There are many, many green. When we look at you, it's like we'll expect a good life on you. But we find it's a bad life. We have got Christians today that when Jesus can reach them, he can speak the words he spoke in Matthew 21 verse 18. Never again you will bear fruit. Never again. 
Because our expectations are showing as if we are producing what is needed. Yes, we are just producing something that is not even needed by Christ. If you read Matthew 12, verse 33, it talks about make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. Why? Because the tree is recognized by its fruit. You are the one who can make the tree good or bad. The tree is full of branches. You are a branch. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are the one who can change the situation. You are the one who can make the church good. You are the one that people, when they look at you, they begin to praise God. They can praise your God. They can praise your Father God. But when we look, we found that it seems as if what we are getting does not make anybody to, to be saved. Today, when I look at you, I can see the fruits that are coming to you. Amen. The Bible says you will bear fruits and your fruits shall remain. Fruits are there forever. Listen, your car is not there forever. Do you know that new car was owned by someone? When you say, this is my car, it was already owned by... When you say, okay, I want to give a testimony of this car. Already someone was giving a testimony about it before you have it. There is something in you that God wants you to have. That one is a character of Christ in you. Amen. Don't lose it. I said, don't lose it. Amen. He wants you to have that fruit. And that fruit must remain. I don't, I don't know if you hear me. Amen. Why the Bible says the fruit must remain? is because temptations will come against that fruit. Many of you are facing challenges. No, those challenges, don't worry. Let them take the leaves away. Amen. But the fruit must remain. Amen. Some of you, you are looking at yourself. You are asking if God is there because of what you are facing. No, 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 no. Anything that you see is not there for a fruit. It is there for what for your leaves. So, but if your fruit is covered, is so much connected, you will lose all the leaves. You will never lose what? The fruit. I'm happy that there's winds that are blowing, but you are still remaining. Yeah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, I'm remaining. I'm remaining. I see some Christians here that God is raising. Yeah. And as he's raising, the wind will blow, the storm will come, but they will never lose what God has given them. There's, there's a blessing that will make people to follow God because of what you are giving birth. The fruit that has been destined for you is coming to you in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask your neighbor, say, my friend, I feel something in me. Listen to this. One of our problems in the gospel that we have, I mean, bringing in the body of Jesus Christ was when we talk about things than him. I mean, now the preaching is 90% of things than Jesus. But if we are preaching about Jesus, there will be fruits. And the Bible says, seek the kingdom, all shall follow. Amen. It's talking about seek to be connected with him. Yeah. You will see, you will bear fruits that will remain forever. Amen. Our mistakes now is we are talking about your lumbar jacket, your shoes, I mean your lipstick and whatever. But you forget about the one who created you. The one, who, I mean not the one who created lipstick. That lipstick was created but somebody was drunk. But there is someone who created you. You are a figure and a fruit that is needed. And there is something in you that you cannot lose it. And as you are here, I speak it, I speak that thing in you to grow in the name of Jesus. And if you believe, shout hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that. Many people are coming to our churches nowadays. Many are for the pity. Others are drunk. Others are liars. Not long I was in another crusade. One man came to me and said, sorry, the man that is beating drums is not saved. It's been hired somewhere. I, I, I didn't see for those drugs. 
I was shocked. There are many things that are happening. Even witches are sitting in the church. No one would know whether this one is a witch or what. Why? Because the fruits now, we are no longer concentrating, we are concentrating on lips. Listen, lips, they eat only in a shadow. Lips is just there for a shadow. And a shadow moves because of the sun. The reason why you people concentrate on the lips, you forget that you have to follow the shadow. And as you are following the shadow, the shadow is not there forever. Many of us, we are just looking at the shadow. You also have shadow. Why are you not concentrating on it? Can I tell you this? There are Christians who are listening to me now. I speak something in them. I say you are going to bear fruits. I say you are going to bear fruits. And your fruits shall remain. Why do you have blessing that does not glorify God? Now you, you are happy about a job today. But tomorrow, the same job that you give a testimony about here, after three weeks, you'll be complaining about it. Oh, I wake up in the morning. But you were glorifying about it. Because it's useless. There's something that God wants to give you. Amen. Listen to me. You can have nothing, but when you've got joy unspeakable inside you, because of the Lord Jesus Christ inside you, you can be nothing, having nothing. But if you have that, you have got more than anything. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. Ask your neighbor, say, my friend. my friend. What kind of fruits are you showing? What kind of fruits are you showing? One time I said this, and uh, uh, I'm not sorry to say this. Before pastor say, come and be a worshiper. Tell pastor, sorry, I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I can't be. I mean, can we bring back the glory? Can you bring back the glory in the church? Before pastors, you can be a very having a good voice or baritone. Maybe it's a cigarette. Tell pastor, pastor, it's a cigarette voice. It's not, it's not from the Holy Spirit. We don't know which one is right today. I don't know if you're hearing me. Sometimes when, when somebody says, I'm beautiful, show them. No, 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 it's a makeup. This is makeup. Amen. Okay, come and see me in the morning. Amen. We, we, we are making mistakes we can't see beyond. There, there is someone who's listening to me today. Amen. As you are hearing me, there's a fruit Amen. that you will give birth of Amen. and it will remain forever. Amen. Shake, shake somebody and say, my friend. Amen. I, I mean, what is it that people are learning from you? I will tell you this. Uh, I have a church in Tembisa. Where my church is, it was a place of dustbin. When God said to me, I must go to that place, I said, ah, God, how can you go to the place where people are throwing it? There were pampas. There, were, <laughs> there was a dustbin. God said, no, because I wanted to go there. I had many prayers. I went very close to the place. I went and do fasting there. I stayed there. I brought my wife and two ladies who were staying there. We stayed there. We were fasting there, praying there. When I was there, after a week, I hear the instruments. And then I said, what is happening? I went outside. I found, God told me, and said, I must go there. Somebody was doing crusade very close to where God said I must go. I went there. I was very much excited. When I reached there, I said, thank you, Lord. God said I must come here. So God sent another one to the rubbish place. Thank you. <laughs> Let me go and ask him. I went there. So sorry. I'm sure you're coming here for a church. He disappointed me. He said, no, God said I must come here. I will go. I'm not coming here for a church. Yeah, I was very sad. <laughs> when I went back, it, God said, no, that man will remain, but I didn't send him there. So you go there because I'm going to send everybody who's dirty and I will clean that person. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing that. Yeah. I went back there. I was forced to put a tent there. It was called a tent of miracles. 
people fought it. People, listen to this. There's nobody who can this from top there. There is something that is not visible in you. It's not even visible. You have to rise from somewhere. Right now, there is no fruit in you. There's nothing. Can I tell you this? Out of what you are seeing in all over the world, you are seeing people who started from minus zero. I don't know if you're hearing me. You can start from there, but with Jesus, you will rise up to the top. Many of you, you are like a balloon. You see a balloon? Eh? You can be pressed down in a swimming pool for a long time. As long as they are holding you there. But listen, today those who are holding you will leave you. Yeah. You will rise up to the top and show the fruits. Yeah. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yeah. I can see fruits in you. I can see fruits in you now. I can see fruits in you. I can see fruits in you. Yeah. Fruits in you. Yeah. Can you receive that fruit? I see. That fruit will remain. Listen, yeah. if God is going to bless you with something, it's from a level to another level. Yeah. You will never go down to another level. Yeah. You'll never go down to a wrong level. Yeah. You'll go to a higher level. Yeah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Yeah. Can you tell someone, say, please, what kind of fruits are you having? <laughs> say, answer me. Answer me. <laughs> because when I, I look at some of you, you the fruits means uh, you're an usher. <laughs> or you're a singer or you're a pastor. Or whatever. The fruit is what is expected in you by Jesus. Amen. When he comes, I'm very worried about what, I, what I'm trying to say. When he comes and say, I was expecting you to be in Malam Levy. And he didn't go there. So let me cut you. That is a fruit because we hear. You give birth to it. The action you do depicts the fruit you are showing. If God said to you, okay, I'm expecting you to do fasting now. When he comes and finds you do it, you are not part of him. If he sends you to a responsibility and you fail to that responsibility, automatically you are obeying someone else. The fruit without obedience is a wrong fruit. Because automatically you produce the fruit of the person you are hearing. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. If you say the fruit is only oranges, it's not the tree that God is talking about. Because Morogo will say, stand up, and you are sitting. God will say, move forward, and you are not moving. Many of us, the reason why we cannot produce fruits is because we can't hear him. We are in a wrong place now. Maybe you're not supposed to be here today. If you're in the wrong place, you have occupied the seat of someone else. You're a disturber. If you don't produce fruit, you, you, you are just a disturber. You are, you are a misfortune. But I'm here to tell you that you find yourself. Tell them, I want to find myself. I want to find myself. And live my life. And live my life. Listen, you will never compare yourself with another. You, you, you'll be yourself because of Christ. I just want you to understand that Christ wants you to be yourself. Not you to copy other people. There, there are things in you that are not yet found. You, you are not yet revealed. But today, God wants to expose you to a level of greatness. And if you believe, shout hallelujah. I don't want to talk so much uh, because you are around here. Some of you are sick. God loves you today. Amen. You will make sure that you bear that fruit. This year, Amen. your life must be must come back. Amen. This year, people must know that you are here. Amen. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Why what is expected of you is not coming? You are a Christian. You are praying. But you can't see anything. Why? By the time when we say you're a Christian, people are looking at you as an example, but we can't see anything. Where, where are the fruits? Where are the fruits? 
if you are builded inside, even outside, things will come. If you are builded inside, things will follow you. Where are the fruits? Our church today is like a gathering of people. Very soon, we will change churches to be gathering. Because there's no fruits. And the reason why there's no fruits is because we are not centered to Christ. But if we can center to Jesus, there's no way God will add many. There will be a change. There will be life in the church. Can I tell you this? I want to expose someone here. That devil hide for a long time. You need to come out and bear fruits. The world must know you from now on. People must understand that you are existing. Look what happened to Saul. Why the Bible says, uh, even Saul, son of Kish, is because there was nothing that was expected from him. Some of you don't even know that when you are here, some people are knowing your family better than yourself. There are some spectators who are looking at you. They can't even see. They just know like what happened to Jesus. And say, no, nothing can come out in this land of Nazareth. So now, you are the one now that God can raise. You are the one that God can advertise. You are the one that God can lift. You are the one, you are the one, you are the one. If you are hearing it, say, I am. I am. There are some Christians here, I'm feeling anointing that is coming to you. Amen. Anointing that will change you. Amen. I see anointing that is coming upon you. Amen. There are some Christians that God wants to raise. Amen. Listen to this. As God wants to raise you, as there's no boundary that can stop you. Amen. You know, I, I've read Deuteronomy 28, but I was not happy. It talks about that God will set you above all nations. And, and I found that we are failing here in Malamulele. Even you're in Malamulele, but nobody knows you. People will begin to know you when there's a funeral in your family. I, I don't know if you're hearing me. But God will set you above all nations. There's no fruit. You are not born by mistake. Yeah. You are not a Christian by mistake. Something must happen with you. Amen. I, I don't care what is happening to you today. Amen. But I know God is in control right now. I, I see God lifting you right now. Amen. I was telling one of our prophets, I said, uh, I'm not happy anyway. Uh, I was telling him, I said, brother, you know, Tebisa is a very small place. If you have traveled all over the way, you will understand what I mean. People outside there, they, they are, they've got people of different colors. You are just robbed by this black lady. And if you can just move to U.S., you will see all kinds. Even black than this one, whiter than that one. I said, what if now you are just saying, okay, I want to marry this one. Oh, I want to marry this one. I said, brother, you're a prophet. Eh? Don't allow uh, this one. Because this one, you find her here. What if you go to Italy? What about, uh, I mean, I mean, okay. I mean why, why are you paying for a small thing? That's why myself, uh, since I started the church, I don't call a member. So why, why, where are you? Why do you come to church? I said, the world is so big. If I concentrate on this, uh, this Madala, what about, what, what about Gogo? I mean, there, there, there are fruits, listen, you, you are, don't act like you don't know what you are here for. You, you, you are created to bear fruit, yeah. not to beg people. Yeah. Hey, well, come to me. Hey, well, what, what, hey, what are you coming? Hey, what are you not saying? What? We don't have time like that. A person like me or like you pastors, you don't have time like that. Your time is to talk about him and connect people to him so that they become what God wanted to be. And can I tell you this? If they don't listen, because he is the one who's, who's sending you. He can still send you somewhere. Yeah. We have got pulpit everywhere. Yeah. I've got pulpit here. Can you see me? I'm preaching here. Yeah. So I don't care about Teresa. I can go anywhere. You are created to be anywhere. Yeah. There's no boundary in your life. You are born to be something. If you, if you understand, say, I understand. I understand. I, I was telling uh, this, this lady that... Uh, I'm just finishing by telling you this, but I want you to understand. Because uh, you, some people, when they will come here, 
you know, already they've labeled us that we want money here. And there's no money. I'm sure I understand what I'm trying to say. Do you have money? You don't have money. I mean, look how you came. You don't have money. I mean, uh, we, we came here because of your fruit. Uh, sometimes, uh, you can ask this lady, this one, this precious, this one. This lady, uh, in every crusade she followed me, she's coming from Chambisa. But if you can ask her why she's following me, she'll tell you. If you ask that lady, just, just ask her, you'll hear. Just tell them. It's because when the, on the 28th of August, when I went to Charis, I had nothing. And I was not working. And since I came to Charis, I travel all over the world and I'm working. Yeah. Look here, look here. I'm talking about fruits, eh? Yeah. People like, what, can you tell them the job you're working? I'm working, I'm, I'm an engineer at National Department of Transport. Oh, you're not educated. Or you're educated. Doesn't matter. What matters is this revelation. This is the, I'm sure you understand that. This is the revelation we are lacking. You see, once God did something through your pastor, can you leave that pastor? No. So now, this one knows, okay, this happened. This happened. Right now she was saying, I'm, I'm not happy. We are people of Charis. We cannot allow people. I know if you come here and we don't do anything, people here will do it. And it's very true. She was saying the truth. These ladies here, come. Those two. This, this lady, I've just seen them now. No, no. Those two ladies. Come. If you can ask this lady, where did I see? I'm just trying to show you the issue of why are we begging people? Like we don't know. So, and, and at the end of the day, you don't know whether this one is supposed to be your member forever. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Sister, this lady, I came here a long time ago. When was that? 2004. 2004. For crusade. You were not saved by then. Eh? <laughs> and then, uh, this lady, the moment when she saw me, she said, I want to do everything. I want to arrange everything. Tell me why you wanted to do that. She saw me 2004. Now she heard that I'm coming. I said, I've come to my lab land. She said, I want to do something. Why? Because of the grace. Because of the grace. Yes. 2004, I'm a little prophet. 2000, stand up, stand up. 2004, were you thinking you would come here? No. Eh? Already there were people. You understand? Yes, please. That they want me to come here. Number one, I must not pay anything. Number two, I must not do anything. Whatever, whatever. Why? The fruits. The fruits. This, these are people of Guiani. I speak Venda. I've got no connection with this one. I never propose anyone. I never say anything. <laughs> these people are married. This one is married. I'm sure you understand that. I speak Venda. It doesn't care which language you speak. Today, you must find yourself. Amen. I say you must find yourself. Amen. Look at this one. When you came to me, were you working? Let's ask this uh, lady who's wearing specs now. I was working, but after I got a promotion and I bought a car. <laughs> so things like this, these people here, if I say give money now, they will give me. Yeah. There's no need for me to call and ask for money. Mm. I've never done it in my life. Yeah. Listen to this, this time, I'm just giving example by these people. You might be born in a family where things are not good. Or you are working a job where things are tough. Please connect yourself with Jesus. There are fruits. There can be a delay, but the right time will come. I don't know. Don't sit down. I said this is the time. This is the time. 
Who's waiting for that? Who's waiting for it? Let me see your hand. Are you waiting to get to bear fruits? Yes. Are you waiting to bear fruits? Yes. I'll give you an example. I'll just give you an example because I'm not here to preach. I'm here to pray for you. <laughs> Come, my brother. This man. This one. I'll give you an example by this man. And the next time when we live here, do that to your pastors. Amen. Do that to what? To your pastors. You will have better fruits. Amen. This man, I, I was with this man. The time when I was in Guyana, you remember? This man just said, uh, you know what? If you want to come here, use my lodge, whatever you can do. You remember? Uh, yes. And uh, I said, I want to use it for pastors. Meeting. I went there, this man told me, he said, please, Take all the key, take the key. And I said, I'm taking the lodge to myself. The moment when this man hear that I want to use his lodge, he said, he doesn't want anybody to occupy any room. How many rooms are you having? 26. Whatever you do, you are pushed to do. Some of you, you are not even here for anything. You are just here to be prayed for. From there, you go back to the world. This is the time now that whether God is not blessing you, you connect yourself with Christ. Yes. If you are not connected with Christ, connect yourself with the pastor. He will teach you. He will teach you. You need a man of God now. I don't know if you're hearing me. He will teach you to be close. Listen, I'm not preaching. I'm telling you. One of your mistakes is you jump from here to this church. You end up knowing every pastor, every prophet. And in your church, you're not doing anything. Like now, I'm going to call offering here very soon. The money you are giving here, yeah. you have not even given it to your pastor. Yeah. Why do you want blessing? Why do you want to be blessed? I mean, look at your actions that you're doing. When I come now here, you brought all money to me. What am I going to do with all money of the world now? What you need to do now, where you are, brighten your corner there. Amen. If you are carrying on the God of mercy will raise you. You are here to do something. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I've, I'm saying this because I saw many of you are Christian. Christian, lift up your hands. Can you see? Can you see? Can you, can you, can you, can you see? Lift up your hands. Can you see many of them? Yes. They're Christian. Christian, lift up your hands. Can you see? There are many Christian. Yes. That's what I'm telling them. Nathan, lift up your hands. <laughs> so, can I tell you this? Today, when you live here, if somebody asks you, are you a Christian? Yes, you're a Christian. We church. My pastor is Umu. Don't be, whether your pastor is so much unmated or not, you hold him. Yeah. You serve God. Amen. You produce, and I don't know, I don't know if you are here. I want to pray for you. I'm not happy about what I'm telling you, but I'll be happy when you produce fruits. Yeah. In the church, I mean, do something. In the church, I mean, do something. Yeah. Many of us here, we want a church where everything is there. We don't even know. We just go to dance there. Do something. Many of us here, we're injured dancing. I mean, but we are doing nothing. But you're so injured. When you go to sleep, then you want the same pastor to pray for you. But you forget it was your dance. Wish you are just wasting time, doing nothing. This is the time now that when you reach to church, I want to serve God. I want to clean here. I want to do this. I want to... Your focus will never be taken. Amen. Listen to this. When you are carrying on doing what God wants you to do, it is easy for you to produce what God wants you to produce. Yeah. Listen, when you are busy serving in the church, doing this, this, your focus also will be there. You begin to look... When you hear noise here, noise there, you won't even look because you are doing something. Yeah. I don't know if you're hearing me. Yeah. There's a conference there, you are doing something. Yeah. There's, there, there's a revival there, you are doing something here. Yes. The reason why you are, you, are, you are taken there, you are moving there, even now, even now where you are here, is because you are doing nothing. The reason why you are here, you are doing nothing. But if you are doing something, you are supposed to be in your church right now, doing something, doing that. The reason why you are here, you are doing nothing. So... I'm here to teach you that when you hear about something, do something. Yeah. When you're in the church, do what? Do something. Yeah. When you are doing something, 
I mean, God will establish your focus. Amen. You will find yourself. Yeah. You will know what you are praying. Yeah. Some of you are praying for something that you, you will never have. Because your focus is not there. But if you are there, your focus, and you are, you are connected with Christ, you will be a branch that will produce fruit. Yes. I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. And from there, God will begin to use you effectively in the church. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yes. There are some people who are here today. If you can move from here, you hold your pastor, you serve God. You carry on serving God. Yeah. You, you won't have what we are having in Malamulele. Yeah. What we are having in Giani. Amen. You people, you are up and down. We don't want you in Johannesburg. We, we, we are tired. Yeah. We are so tired. Yeah. We, you are leaving the service of God. You are coming there. You are making noise there. Yeah. Even the amen you are doing there, you don't do it here. Yeah. So, can I tell you this? We don't want you there. You will end up going, getting accidents. Stay here. Serve God. There are pastors here. How can, how can a man of God give you a word that will come to pass when you're not connected? We, we are making mistakes now. How can a man of God, if I come to you and say, God wants to raise you. You have got a prophet here. And we are coming here to show, this man is a prophet. This one is a this one is an apostle. This one, you, you don't care. But when you come here, even when you are sick, you have a headache. You come. But when you, you have got a headache, you don't go to your church. You go to your church when you are given a portfolio. Yeah. If they give you a portfolio that you are the one to welcome people, I'm going to church because I have to welcome people. You are crazy. <laughs> This is the time of producing fruits. Say, I want to produce fruits. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? God is about to honor you. I said, God is about to honor you. I said, God is about to honor you. I want to make an altar call. I'm not happy. Don't ever think uh, I just come here. I'm not a person that will carry by wind. I come here because there's too much mixed up. We are wrongly wired. There's too much now. There's too much many things. You people here, you are no longer even following the Bible. If you can check yourself when you read it. Many of you didn't even read the Bible when you come here. You don't even believe in the scriptures now. You believe in the people. You know, it, it's how the gospel is being run now. At the end of the day, you people end up being deceived. But when we check, what are you doing? Nothing. That's why when now prophecy, when they prophesy, you just say, come on, come on, come on, prophet. As if you are the one who, who gave the spirit of a prophecy to a prophet. <laughs> you, you are no longer having fear of God. There's no more fear of God now. I was supposed to be teaching you here, the, this thing the whole night, because when I look at many people here, already you are, you are tired in your spirit. Yeah. Going to church now to you, I, I mean, you, you're not even trusting the servant of God. How many crusades came here? How many crusades? Look at your spiritual life. Jesus, when you look at Chorazi, when you look at besides that, he cursed them. Even now when you go there, there is nothing. He said, look at you, Chorazi. Look at you, Bethesda. I mean, all the people who came to preach here and the sign of wonders that have been done here, it was done in Sodom and Gomorrah. We're supposed to have repenting dust. Yeah. But you look at yourself. Don't be happy when you see people like me coming here. Okay. You must pray. Yeah. And you know, if you pray, you will question why. This place now can be so much cursed. If God send a prophet, send a prophet, send a prophet, and you are not changing. You are not different with the person who stoned that prophet. You are not the different with the person who have killed those prophets. When the moment God raised people and your eyes are open and you begin to serve God, you must be serious with it. Amen. There's, a, there's, a, there's a judgment. You people are getting it bit by bit. Bit by bit. You are not producing the fruits. Even this message I'm preaching to you now of bearing fruits, I wish you were not even hearing it. Because from now, when you move from here, you are going to be expected. Questions. What are you doing in the church? What are you doing with your pastor? 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Even pastors here are suffering and you are looking at them. One day, these pastors will go, all of them, when you reach to church, you will find your neighbor. Rapture is coming. If we want to be concentrating on what God is doing now, let's check ourselves. The gospel that was supposed to be preached now is no longer preached. Right now, can you see I'm preaching, you're all quiet. You were supposed to say, hey, I have to preach what you love most. I have to entertain you. Do you think Jesus, when he was preaching walking, was happy? Jesus' eyes are always red. He was always crying. Because he knows that you are living 80 years here. But there are millions of years in hell. This is not the time of coming here. And you just say, okay, as long as I'm a Christian. As long as, I mean, look at yourself. We are not here forever. I, I'm not the first person to preach here. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes. Huh? Yes. It's not the first. I'm not even too much anointed than other people. What God wants you to do is to bear fruits. You live right. When people look at you, they'll fear God. Christianity in the time of apostles was feared. Even people were afraid to join. Everybody now, if you see that you, you, you pass me, you fail me trick, you're a prophet. Amen. But by the time of apostles, people were afraid. Amen. When you search for a job, you can't get a job. You just give yourself six months. You are going to sleep in a mountain. When you come back here, you're, you're, you're a man of God. What you need today is to come back to him. I don't know if you're hearing me. I want you to come back to him. Look here. You're not even married. But look at the fruits you're producing. How can you be in the church with a girlfriend? How, how can... I, I, don't know, I don't know where we are going now. How can you be in the church? What kind of church is that? You are insulting parents. Because once I'm a parent like this, I don't know if you're hearing me, I, I expect a child to live right. Is it true? Amen. But how can you have a girlfriend who attend the same church with your parent? What we are doing now is so different. We are, we are in the brink of end. Anything can happen. What will happen to us? Christianity is so much real. The way we are doing about Christianity, I'm afraid. If I do crusade because I want money, it's written. When I'm preaching here, it's written. Whatever, you, you cannot even stand. There's no advocate except Jesus. So you have advocate who's called Jesus. Today you can look at yourself and say, oh, I want to follow Jesus. I want to bear right fruits. I've been in the church, but look at my character. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. I'm calling you for to come and stand here. Come and stand here. Don't look at anybody. Look at yourself. Just come now and stand here.